Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Ahmed and I'm here today to share a project idea using clear craft plastic by Graphics. I'm going to create 3D flowers to take advantage of its moldable properties. To start off, I have die cut some flower shapes. You can cut flower shapes out by hand and I have two of each design in four different sizes. I am going to crease the flowers a bit first and fold the petals towards the center of the flower which will help me to get the curl shape of a petal. I won't be using all the shapes and I like to have extras to choose from or I could make other flowers if I want to use for other projects. I am going to be using a lighter to further shape the flower petals. You can use a candle if you wish. I like the control that I get with a lighter. Of course, please do be very careful and use light quick motions to curl the craft plastic with a lighter. If heated up too much, the craft plastic might discolor or burn or even curl up too tightly. The craft plastic will bend towards the heat source. As you can see, I am heating the flowers from underneath which causes the petal shapes to thicken slightly and curl downwards. I am going to continue doing this until all of my flower shapes have been formed. I am now painting the flowers with acrylic paint. I am using two colours of a heavy body paint to give the variegated effect to my flowers. I am being careful to paint the underside of the flowers as I want the other side which is paint free to be glossy and visible. You might need to do more than one layer of paint to get your desired coverage. You can use a variety of mediums to colorize craft plastic, permanent markers, alcohol inks, glass paints, and the list goes on. Here you can see the shiny surface of craft plastic when I flip the shape over. So now that my paint has dried, I'm going to start assembling my 3D flower. As you can see, I made extras, so I have a variety to choose from. I'm going to be using a glue gun to stick the shapes down. Uh, but you can use any type of permanent adhesive for non-porous surfaces. You can use your tweezers to press the flower shapes down into the glue. Continue by adding petals and layering them from largest to smallest until you are happy with the size of the flower. If there are any petals that are not sitting well, you can reform them by bending them down into the position that you like. After adding the smallest flower shape, you can add a uh, gem to the center of the flower to finish it off. I am using a jewelry picker to place the gem into the glue. If you wish, you can add more details and embellishments with glitter or any permanent pens that you have in your collection. Here's a look at the finished flower where you can see my flower edges are slightly discolored, but I like how that makes the petals stand out against each other. And here is a closer look at another flower that I made using a different dye and mixing blue and green paint together. Lastly, here is a flower which I left uncolored which I think would look beautiful in a table centerpiece or even on a corsage. You can use the finished flowers for a wide variety of projects. Here is one on a hair clip. And here I've made a simple wire photo holder, or you could use the flowers to decorate vases or even create wreaths. I hope this video inspires you to try clear craft plastic, and if you have any questions, please visit the graphics website. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks. Bye!